Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to move on to another chapter. And this one is going to be called Momentum and Collisions. Let's start off by defining uh, the word momentum. Momentum is a quantity defined as the product of the mass and velocity of an object. The equation for momentum is going to be P, uh, which stands for momentum, and then M for mass, and then V for velocity. There are a couple of things to consider here. Uh, momentum is considered a vector, so um, it does have a direction. Let's go over an example uh, quickly using the momentum equation. A 2,250 kilogram pickup truck has a velocity of 25 meters per second to the east. What is the momentum? Some things to identify right away is the mass is 2,250 kilograms. The velocity is 25 meters per second to the east. All right. And all we have to do to find the momentum of this uh, scenario is just to multiply the two quantities. When we multiply 2,250 kilograms by 2.5 meters per second east, we get a momentum of uh, 56,350 kilogram meter per second east. So a couple things to note here. Uh, yes, the units are kilogram meter per second, and then the, uh, it is a vector, so the direction of this is going to be east. The next thing we need to talk about is called impulse. Impulse is defined by the product of the force and the time over which the force acts on the object. Now, how is impulse related to momentum? If an object has a momentum and it needs to be changed somehow, then therefore the, there must be an impulse present. Now, impulse is represented by, by the variable j, all right, and then uh, the equation would be j equals force times the time, or f by delta t. Last thing I mentioned is impulse is a vector as well. Let's do a quick example using the impulse equation. A tackler applies a force of 50.7 newtons over 1.4 seconds to stop a quarterback. What is the impulse? There are a couple things to identify here. First, the force is 50.7 newtons, and then the change in time to alt t is going to be 1.4 seconds. All we have to do to find the impulse is just uh, multiply the two values. By multiplying the two values, we get an answer of 70.98 newton second. All right. So newton second is a units or one of the units for impulse. And then since the uh, direction is kind of ambiguous, we can just leave a positive sign for this uh, for this problem here. For our last example, we're going to need to combine both impulse and momentum, which leads us to the impulse momentum theorem. The impulse momentum theorem says the product of force and time equals to the change in momentum, which is mass times final velocity minus mass times initial velocity. Let's look at our final example. A 1400 kilogram car moving westward with velocity of 15 meters per second collides with a utility pole and is brought to rest in 0 0.30 seconds. Find the force exerted on the car during the collision. Let's identify about what we know. The mass of the car is 1,400 kilograms. The initial velocity is going to be 15 meters per second. The final velocity is going to be zero because it's brought to rest by utility pole because it crashes into it. And the time during this crash is going to be 0 0.30 seconds. And then F is going to be our question mark. Let's bring in our impulse momentum equation. F Delta T equals MVF minus MVI. Remember, since our initial velocity is 15 meters per second west, I'm going to leave a negative sign there. And working out the rest, uh, the right side of the equation, we're going to have 2100. And then uh, we can go ahead and solve for the force. 
When we take 2100 and divide it by 0.30, we get a force of 70,000 newtons east. The reason it's east is if the object was originally traveling west, for it to come to a stop, there must be a force uh, uh, to the exact opposite of it. Okay, so that concludes our video on impulse momentum and impulse momentum theorem. And thanks for watching.